Welcome to this 20 minute heart opening yoga flow, a practice designed to awaken and nourish your heart chakra. We will be working on creating space, openness and self love. So join me in a comfortable seated position with your legs crossed, resting your palms on your knees and come to your Gaya Mudra by placing your index finger and thumb to the top. Then bring your right hand to your heart center and keep your left hand on your knee. And then either gaze in softly towards the floor or close your eyes. Just taking a few moments of stillness here to prepare for today's practice. So take a nice big breath in through your nose and exhale, release through the nose. Again, inhale and exhale, feel your body begin to soften. I want you to imagine a bright green glowing ball of light at your heart center. This is your heart chakra, which is focusing on love and healing. So maybe you just want to give yourself a bit of self love today, more compassion, more forgiveness. I want you to set an intention for today's practice. Maybe it's to be kinder to yourself, be gentle with yourself. Take a moment more. And then gently open your eyes. Sweep both arms up as you inhale and exhale, come to seated twist, placing your left palm on your knee. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist, gazing over your right shoulder. Enjoy the stretch through your spine and your back and then release, inhale to center. Exhale, let's take it over the other side. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. As deep as you want to go. Inhale, come back to centre and exhale, release the arms. Make your way to tabletop, so placing the knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. Let's begin to warm up the spine, cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, shine your chest forward, gazing up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone round the spine, pushing up. Inhale, down to cow. And exhale up to cat a few more times at your own pace. and then come back to center, neutral spine. Bring your toes to touch. Take the knees as wide as the mat and then sink your hips to your heels. Come into child's pose. Rest in your chin or forehead on the mat. Releasing all the tension in your shoulders. And then come up onto your fingertips for a deeper stretch in your upper back. Walk in the palms to the left side of the mat, stretching through the right side of the body. And 
and then walk your palms to the right side, keeping the forehead down. And then gently walk your palms back to centre and begin to push yourself up. Staying on your knees, so bring your knees together. Staying here, inhale, reach your arms up, interlace your fingers and exhale, palms go high. Keeping the arms nice and long as you reach up and then side body stretch to the left side. Hold it here. And then back to centre, let's take it to the right side. And bring yourself back to centre. Release the arms down and come up onto your knees. We're going to come to camel pose, so slight back bend. Tuck your toes under. And then bring your hips to sit onto your heels as you take a hold of the heels with your hands. We're going to inhale, push the hips up as far as you can go, maybe just to here, maybe a little bit more, opening the chest and then option to keep the gaze forwards or gently drop the head back as you push your hips forwards and breathe here. Hold it for one more breath and then gently release, bringing your hips down. Roll your shoulders back a couple of times. Nice. Coming back to tabletop and then tuck your toes, sand your hips high to downward dog. Pedaling the legs, so bending one knee at a time. Pushing into your heels, chest towards your thighs. Gaze at your knees and breathe. Enjoy the stretch through your hamstrings. Take one more breath here in your down dog. And then find stillness. Take your right leg high to three leg dog. Bend your knee and then bring your foot between your hands. Drop the back knee down, come into low lunge. Bring your hands to heart center, inhale. Exhale, sink the hips down towards the mat. Option to stay here or inhale, take both arms up and exhale, reach back with your hands, pushing into your hips, slight back bend here. Try not to compromise your lower back, so if it's too much, then just bring the arms forward a little bit. One more breath. And then exhale, bring your hands down to the mat. Tuck your left toes and step back to high plank. Drop your knees, lower chest and chin. Inhale as you push up to upward dog, straight arms, strong shoulders. And then when you're here, bend your elbows and gently come all the way down to the mat. Placing your hands at the corners of the mat or a little bit wider, keeping the elbows bent. We are gonna cobra roll as we push through the hands, lift the chest up, head back and then lower the chest down, forehead comes down last. Let's connect the breath, inhale as you push up, exhale as you release, nice, inhale. 
and exhale. Nice fluid movement. Inhale, one more. And exhale, lower all the way down. Bring your palms behind your back, interlace the hands. Roll your shoulders back, shoulder blades together. Engage your core and then inhale, lift the chest up. Feeling a stretch through your lower back. Engage your legs, hold it. And then exhale, release. Hands under your shoulders. Push your chest up, pull your hips back and find your downward facing dog. Take a moment here. Head on the legs, nice and gentle. Then left leg high to three leg dog. Bend the knee and then bring knee to chest. Drop your left foot between your hands. Back knee down, hands to heart center, inhale. Exhale, push into your left knee, hips come deeper. Option to stay here or let's go to the back bend. Exhale as you reach back, sink the hips down, stretching through your hips and your hip flexor. One more breath, shine your heart forwards. Good, let's release. Slowly bring your hands down to the mat. Tuck your toes, step your left leg back to plank. Let's lower down knees, chest and chin with control. Push through your hands, lift the chest up, inhale. And then when you're here in your upward facing dog, just hold it for one more breath and then come down to your belly. Again, we're gonna cobra roll, so take the hands as wide as you need. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release. Go with your own breath, we're going for four. Option to bring the legs up as you inhale. More of a stretch through the spine. Wherever you are today, listen to your body. Don't force it. And last one. Nice. Bring palms under shoulders, push yourself up. And then find a tabletop. Come into puppy pose, so either coming down onto your forearms, maybe this is enough for you, or if you want more, straighten the arms, chest, chin or forehead, come down to the mat. Releasing through the shoulders and through the back. Hold it here for a few breaths, breathing all the way into your belly. And exhale, sink in a little bit deeper. Push through your hands, bring yourself back up to tabletop. Give the hips a little wriggle and then tuck your toes, send the hips high, straight legs, downward dog. We're gonna come to wild thing, but I will also give you the option for a little bit more of a gentle variation. Drop your left knee to the mat, right leg stays extended, left hand stays on the floor and right arm reaches back stretching through the side body or maybe going a little bit deeper to get to the back option to come to wild thing by taking your right leg high in your down dog then drop the right leg over the left side of the mat push the hips high as you reach over with your right arm as deep as you want to go in that back bend breathe Exhale, let's take it back. Sending your right leg back to three leg dog. Coming back to downward dog wherever you are to go on the other side. 
So variation, drop the right leg, reaching over with your left arm, nice, or wild thing, in your downward facing dog, take your left leg high, bend your knee, and then open the hips, drop your left leg over to the right side, nice and controlled, hips high, left arm reaches forward. Good, breathe. Exhale. Let's bring it back. Coming back. And find your free leg dog. And then downward facing dog. Good, take a moment. And then drop your knees, find your child's pose. Reconnect to your breath here. And then gently make your way up. We're gonna come to a seated, so release the legs forwards. Shift yourself forwards and we're gonna lower down. So take your hands to your knees, come down to your back. Pull your knees into your chest of times stretching through the lower back and then release your feet to the mat keeping the knees bent place your feet so that your fingertips can touch your heels we are going to come to bridge pose so inhale lift the hips up off the mat then chest and shoulders Option to roll your shoulders under, interlacing the palms. Keep the hips high. Push your knees together. Hold it here. Try not to let your hips sink. And then gently release. Nice. Take a moment. And then we are going to come to bridge again or come into wheel pose if you want a bit more. So take a bridge or come to wheel with me by placing your palms beside your head, pushing the body up off the floor, coming to wheel, keeping your chest open, pushing forwards. Option to release at any moment if it's a little bit too much for you today. Hold it here for one more breath. And then release by bending your elbows, tuck your chin to chest, bring your head down, then upper back, lower back. Pull your knees into your chest, release in your back. Gently rock from side to side. Squeeze your knees in towards your chin and then let everything go. Legs come down to the mat or option to come to reclined butterfly by placing soles together, knees out wide. Bring your arms overhead if that feels good. Wherever you feel most comfortable, take up as much space as you need. Gently close your eyes and relax here in Savasana.
feel free to stay here as long as you like and I hope to see you in the next practice. Namaste.